Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. I scored 30 out of 30 in TOEFL writing and my templates really helped me boost my score. In this video, I show you how to use the academic discussion template in TOEFL writing. Let's get started. For all of the TOEFL writing tasks, you have to organize your response into a logical text with great composition grammar, vocabulary, and flow. The academic discussion essay is a chat room style discussion, so you also have to give your own opinion and show respect to other students. That's a lot to think about. You are probably wondering where to start. I suggest using a template. What is a template? A template gives you sentence starters that include great vocabulary and that help you organize organize your response. If you memorize a template before you take the TOEFL, you don't have to think about how to start. You can simply start writing. That's awesome because the TOEFL is stressful. The clock is running, so you don't have much time. You need the time you have to think about the arguments you want to use. You don't have time to think about how to start your sentences. A template solves this problem. It saves you time and it ensures that you use a large vocabulary and this will boost your score. That's why I love using templates. I have written templates for all the TOEFL writing tasks, including the academic discussion task. The templates are included in my TOEFL materials. Just click on the link in the description. Now you may say, a template sounds great, but how do I use it? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. We are now going to have a look at an academic discussion task, and I'm going to show how you can use the template to write an amazing answer. By the way, you can find a full sample answer on a 30 out of 30 level for this task in my TOEFL materials. The question always has two basic parts. The first part is the prompt, which is almost exactly the same every time. The second part is always very different. It's like a chat room conversation with one question posed by the teacher, then two responses from students. If you look at the prompt, it tells you what you need to write in your response. Your professor is teaching a class on political science. Write a post responding to the professor's question. In your response, you should express and support your opinion, make a contribution to the discussion. An effective response will contain at least 100 words. You will have 10 minutes to write it. You must do everything in the prompt to get a full TOEFL writing score. Notice that you need to express or say your opinion. You are also asked to support it. In addition, you need to make a contribution to the discussion. In other words, you need to add a new idea that the other students have not mentioned. This style of question is interesting because it's not an essay expressing your point of view only. Instead, you must build on the ideas that have already been given. Your response is not read all by itself, but as part of a series of other responses. You need to decide if you agree or disagree with the views of the other students. You need to politely state how you feel, just like you are in a classroom. You can't just say, Tim's view is stupid, can you? The vocabulary needs to show respect to the other students. That's very important, and many TOEFL students forget to refer to the ideas of the other students. That's bad, because if you don't do that, you will lose points. That's why using a template is important, because it makes sure that you don't forget to do this. I address a question like this by reading the posts carefully. I look at how the students' views relate. Do they agree with each other or offer different viewpoints? In the example with the space programs, the teacher asks, 
If you were a policymaker, would you be in favor of supporting a large space program? Why? Let's have a look at the answers of the other students that are given. The first student, Abdul, says that it's essential to learn about the universe. By contrast, the second student, Rina, says that we need to focus on problems on Earth. They have contrasting views. After I read the comments, I decide my own view. Remember, this is an opinion question, so you are not scored on a correct answer. You're scored on how well you organize and express your idea. I think that I will talk about how the space program helps solve problems on Earth. That will build on Rina's idea that the problems exist, but instead of avoiding the space program, we can use it. Now, I could take notes if I want. However, I only have 10 minutes to answer the question, and I only need to write just over 100 words. So I usually just start writing after I decide my topic. Now I start using the template to write. You can find the complete template for the TOEFL academic discussion task by clicking on the link in the description. Let's have a closer look at the academic discussion template. It first tells you how to start your answer. The template says, paraphrase of the original topic briefly. The first line of my sample response is, some politicians are concerned whether space programs are too costly. You see, I just say the idea simply and clearly. I don't go into details and add my view yet. The template gives me an awesome pattern for developing my argument. So this is all I need for the start. Then the template says this about the second sentence. Say something about the other points and use this as a transition to show your viewpoint. Make sure it is an idea which is not mentioned by the professor or other students. That's the basic idea, but the template does not stop there. Instead, it gives a list of sentence starters to show how you can achieve the goal of referring to the other points and including your own idea. Here's what I mean. I've already decided I am going to build on Rina's idea of the problems on Earth. So here are a few awesome sentence starters to do that. Any one of these could create a great sentence. Let's look at them one by one. Here's the first sentence starter. While I agree with, then comes the name of the student, I'd like to qualify by saying. The finished sentence might be, while I agree with Rina, I'd like to qualify by saying that some of the problems on Earth can be solved through space research. That's a great sentence with good structure. It is polite in acknowledging Rina's view, but it also shows that my view is a bit different. You can write the same idea with the second sentence starter too. I agree with Rina about the need to address problems on Earth, but I like to add that many of these problems can be solved through research focusing on outer space. Isn't that another awesome sentence? Look at the third sentence starter. Although I agree with Rina's claim that there are too many problems on Earth, I have a few reservations. Namely, devoting money to space research might help come up with solutions for some of those problems. Finally, here's the last sentence starter I am going to talk about. It's actually the one I used in my sample answer. Though Rina has a good point that there are many problems on Earth to solve, another key factor to consider is that space research can help develop solutions. Do you see how the sentence starters let you arrange your idea into a great sentence? The template also has sentence starters for agreeing with one student but not the other, agreeing with both students and disagreeing 
with both students. In other words, there are sentence starters to write any type of response you might choose to give. You continue to write your whole essay in the same way. The template explains what is needed, then gives sentence starters that link the ideas together. Select the sentence starter that fits best and finish the sentence. You can add sentences if you need more detail, but try to keep your response concise and clear. The template gives you an awesome organization for your response, so you focus more on the wording for your argument and examples. To get the most out of your template, practice using it well before your TOEFL test so that you are comfortable with the structure and can focus on the question. Get your academic discussion template now and boost your score. Just click on the link in the description. That's it! That's how you use a template to write an awesome TOEFL academic discussion response. I hope you guys like this video. If if you have any questions or a video wish, comment below and I would love to see you here next time. Bye bye!